Hello everyone, Rurikon here, and today I'm bringing you Strength of the Sword 3. And you guys might be wondering, what the hell is Strength of the Sword 3? And I would not really be that surprised, because unfortunately this game has not had quite as much publicity as it really deserves, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to do this particular video. But anyways, Strength of the Sword 3 is a game about uh, arena battles, where the main objective of this game is to provide you with a challenge. And... Um, let me just get into a level here for you guys and give you a, a good idea of how the mechanics of this particular fighting game play out. Now, there is a little bit of a background story that uh, it's like the developers themselves will say that the story doesn't really matter. This game is just about uh, gameplay, challenging gameplay and having fun. As you progress throughout the campaign mode of the game, which is not that long, and according to the developers themselves, the, because I, I spoke with them uh, today in a, in a Skype call, and he actually mentioned that the campaign mode is like just something for you guys to have fun and to learn how to play the mechanics of the game because the main meat of the game is actually in the challenge pit, which I will show you guys in a couple of minutes. But anyways, as you play throughout the campaign of the game, you will unlock all these different weapons that provide you with different play styles that uh, you can then use. But uh, for now, I'm going to be using this one, which it ha also happens to be my favorite weapon. It is the first blade that you have access to, and I'm also going to be using the first shield that you have access to, because these are actually um, my two favorite weapons in the whole game, because of one specific attack that, uh, that you get, which is called God's Hammer. Now, God's Hammer is actually an attack that, uh, as I was trying to just figure out the controls of, of the game and stuff, I came across this in the moves list, and I was like, oh, let me try that out. And I felt that God's Hammer is actually an attack that is pretty damn powerful. As a matter of fact, after a conversation I had with the developers, I do believe that God's Hammer is going to get changed because it is a little bit too powerful in its current iteration. And I actually ended up using it kind of as a crutch whenever the situations got hard. Now, as you guys saw um, over there, what I was doing was I was actually charging mana. And... Um, Charging mana, what it does for you is it allows you to have access to certain special moves, like for instance, this. This is a special move, which will make uh, additional damage. There's also another special move, which is, let's see if I can get it for you guys here, this. This is another special move, and that was a fatality because I took so much energy off of the enemies that um, it, it automatically finished them off with a finishing blow. But, um, so, that is uh, two of the special attacks, and uh, that is what your mana is for. Now, let me show you guys the special attack that I was talking about, which is called God's Hammer. And that is this one. Let me just combo two abilities up, and... Boom! And this is the attack that I told the developers that I thought, this might be a little bit too overpowered, because I ended up just going through most of the game, just charging up mana, and using up this attack. Because of just how powerful it is. I mean, even though the goblin dodged it now. Which uh, is actually quite interesting because um, sometimes you guys might not notice it. I definitely didn't notice it as I was playing through the game. Um, but they actually have a really uh, interesting AI mechanic. Which is the enemies will actually adapt to what you guys are doing. Even though a lot of the times you won't notice it because you'll be killing enemies so fast that you won't even notice that they're actually adapting and using different tactics. But something I noticed earlier today was, for instance, I was fighting a goblin, and he dodged that overpowered attack, God's Hammer, this, like four times in a row. Which was pretty interesting, even though I haven't seen it happen that often. Let's try again. As you can see there, he was like going for a dodge as soon as he saw me weeping, which was interesting. Anyways, you can also grab enemies like so, and um, stab them multiple times. You will also have to release them at appropriate times because after a while they build resistance to being grabbed. There's also a dodging mechanic as you guys can see. You guys see me abusing it all over the place. You can also block and you can charge mana. You can do so Oh, that was an interesting attack. The way that he leaped off the wall. I wonder if I can leap off walls. I don't think you can. No, you can leap but you can't really leap off walls. You can also do leaping attacks like so. Wait, let me show you guys. Uh... As you can see, that was a little bit of a leaping attack. You can also do stabbing attacks while in the air. But, unfortunately, this enemy was ready for a fatality, so... Once I did the triangle attack, I basically triggered the fatality. But it's fine, this is going to load up uh, another level that I can show you guys. 
a couple of more skills as well as uh, item usage. So let's continue through the levels here. I'm going to be skipping the um, the intros and whatnot because, like I said, story is, is not really the main focus of this game. The focus of this game is challenge. Now, while you guys don't really get levels per se while you're um, going through the game, what you do get is basically you get additional weapons like you guys have, have seen there. I'm going to use the basic weapon again. You guys get additional weapons and you also get this. A whole bunch of items that you will be getting so these items is actually something that makes my character extremely overpowered in this particular level for instance let's equip a rocket launcher and shoot rockets at this as you can see that's pretty overpowered but when you're doing the campaign in this level you will not have this particular ability there's another item which is the grenade and i can also toss a grenade at you and as you can see that's also pretty damn overpowered so basically i shot a rocket at him then I shot a grenade and just straight up killed him off. There are other items like slowly, uh, not slowly, um, not as powerful like for instance the throwing blades. Which will do some damage but not tremendous amounts of damage. And to be honest I never really found that much use to these particular knives. But I mean you can have them and you can throw them and they might come in handy in certain situations where you're low on health. Speaking of being low on health you also have this thing that you can use which is a health pack. Which will actually... Uh, regenerate some of your health. You also get this particular flamethrower attack as you progress through the game. Which is basically like this. You can use it like a flamethrower. And then there's also this lightning attack, which is... Boom. It's like an AoE attack, does tons of damage, all that kinds of good stuff. Let me just throw a blade in his face. And then there's also rushing attacks, which you've seen me do a couple of times, but I haven't really explained about them. But basically, when you press R2, you get into this rush mode where you can just rush towards an enemy and attack him. Now an attack I really like doing is rush mode into stab because that will go into a grab attack which is cool because when you do it against small enemies like this one you get this cool animation which throws the enemy back gives you some time to recover but when you do it on bigger guys like this oops missed. This is also um, a type of game that requires you to be very precise about what you're doing so a lot of the, the start of the game is you actually getting used to the controls as well as the distance that you'll have to do for your attacks. So as you can see, I almost grabbed him there but he instantly countered me. But I will be grabbing you and then you have to basically spam triangle for a while and then you have to hit uh, rectangle to jump back because the more you grab onto them the more resistance um, they will get to that particular type of attack. So you have to vary your attacks if you really want to be uh, as effective as possible. Aw, oh, damn it! I went for another grab. Dang it. I actually wanted to do something different. There's also the leaping attacks, and there's also something that you can do, which is basically if you want to cancel out a rush, you can like jump in the middle of it when you're close to the enemy, and it just bounces you back. On the road. Bong! But it also creates a stagger on the enemy, which is really good, like for interrupts and whatnot. You can also do shield bashes, and shield bashes was something that was really interesting because I was talking with the developer saying, "Oh man, shield bashes aren't that useful. Like this is a shield bash." And the shield bash, what it does is it's like it has a high priority and in it interrupts pretty much everything that the boss is doing. But I never really found much use to it because I ended up always going the route of um, just doing God's Hammer throughout the whole game. Which is the re one of the reasons why it's getting nerfed. But the thing is, as I was telling him that I didn't think that shield bash was that powerful, he said that he apparently found a player. Um, that uh, said that shield bash was overpowered and he was able to kill the final boss of the game just by spamming shield bash and some other ability and I was like whoa that's surprising just like I was telling him also that certain weapons felt really underpowered like for instance the uh, heavy weapons which you guys don't really see me using and he said that the the player that has the highest score in the challenge pits right now actually uses one of the heavier blades to just nuke enemies down super fast as opposed to playing in an agile style like me so what that leads me to believe is that basically the game has several um, play styles and depending on the play style that you actually take that will determine just how viable you are in a fight or something and depending on your play style you will be able to find different ways to actually um, progress through the game but anyways, I'm going to be showing you guys a boss fight as well as a different weapon. Now the thing is, 
I'm not proficient in the use of the weapon that I'm going to show you, so don't expect stellar gameplay on this particular boss fight. But I, I just want to switch things up a little bit. Like, for instance, I will be taking a heavy blade and, let's say, a, heavy, a heavier shield. Actually, I'm curious to see this particular shield because it uses mana. Can block almost all physical attacks, needs mana to work. Uh, fine, let's take it because why the hell not. Silverback Guard. This is one of the boss fights in the game. Now, I don't want to show you a lot of the boss fights because I feel like if I show you how to, if I start showing you guys how to actually beat bosses and the strategies that I use, I feel that the game might just become overly simplistic for you guys. And part of this game is actually in the joy of discovering, discovering the control set, discovering how to beat bosses and all that kind of stuff. So, let's see. This is the sword I have. Now, the thing about this particular sword is that it doesn't actually have access to God's Hammer. Like, see? I will do God's Hammer, and even though it does a little bit of damage, it doesn't quite have the same AoE effect. It doesn't have the same... Um, it doesn't do as much damage as the other one does. Actually, I think it did almost the same, because this sword kind of makes up for the, the damage, because it, it just does a lot more damage than the other sword. But it is also a slower sword and a heavier sword, which means you will move slower and you will expend more stamina. But it has a different attack, which is instead of a stabbing attack, it has this. Which is a very heavy attack that deals a very high amount of damage. <coughs> so, and this particular shield apparently is supposed to block most physical attacks. Oh, this is interesting. So it can block so hard that if you keep on charging mana, you become a really powerful tank. That is very, very interesting. Oh, wow. Okay, so maybe this shield is overpowered. Now, I hadn't used it before. But as you can see, the boss isn't really hitting me that hard. Oh, I can block everything with this shield. <laughs> wow. But then again, you really don't have access to this shield until you kill the final boss, so I'm not, you're not supposed to have this shield when you're fighting this particular boss. I was just curious. Uh, but you are supposed to have this sword, I believe. I'm not 100% sure, though. So yeah. This is the way this particular sword works, just like heavy attacks, but a lot of the game is about studying the boss's movesets. But oh my god, this is one hell of a crazy combo. This shield and this sword? Like, look, look at this. Block, block, and boom. Oh, wow. Okay, this is overpowered. Not fair. Not fair at all. <laughs> Just look at it. But yeah, the game still needs a couple of tweaks, in my opinion. But what I do see in this particular game is a lot of potential. There is definitely a lot of potential in this game. And I feel that once they start, you know, ironing out these these kinks and whatnot, level up, gear unlock, and boom. This this is essentially what the game is all about. It's just you going into arenas and killing the crap out of things. But um, I feel, again, like I said, I do feel that there needs to be a couple of tweaks in difficulty because the game is supposed to be very, a lot more challenging than what, what I shown in that particular fight. But um, I am a little bit overpowered at this point. Well, let me just, I'm just going to select whatever it is I'm going to exit the level. And now let me show you guys uh, the online ranking system. <clears throat> There's online leaderboards like um, every, every other game in this style pretty much has online leaderboards. Because when you buy a game like this for challenge and whatnot, you usually want to compete against other people and see who's number one. And, um, oh, I'm actually happy to see that I'm number 10 in stage one, finally, which means that more people are playing the game. But as you can see here, for instance, uh, let me just go to the last page and see how many people... Oh, never mind. So, page one, page two, page three, 40, 60... Because I wanted to show you guys the thing that me and the, and the dev were discussing, which is how many people play through stage 1 and how many people actually go all the way down through stage 11. So as you can see, 94 people have played through the first level of the game. But the interesting statistic comes down here, which is when you get to stage 11, and this is the final boss. So 94 people own this game and they've all played through stage 1, 
but on the last boss, only seven people have killed the last boss of this game. Which means that a lot of people just get to a certain stage and they just like, they feel like they can't progress. Which is interesting to me because I didn't actually thought the game was that hard and it was supposed to be that hard, but it's not. So it, it really tells me the, the state that the, the gaming uh, community is in where they can't beat uh, Strength of the Sword 3, which I didn't really find that hard. And I'm not an amazing player. And here's the thing, there is a lot of potential here. There's a lot of potential in this game. And um, the thing is, I feel they need to tweak some of the attacks which are a little bit overpowered. Like, for instance, that combo that I just used there felt ridiculously overpowered. Now, like I did say, the meat of the game itself um, is supposed to be the challenge pits. And I've actually haven't had a whole lot of time to play in the challenge pits. I mean, give me a break, guys. The game came out on the 5th of June, and I'm actually getting all prepped up to go to E3 and everything, so I haven't really had as much time as I would like. But for the challenge pit, this time around, I'm actually going to go with um, the heavy sword and the, the, the shield that I thought was a little bit overpowered. Now, the difficulty on these pits is actually a, an interesting thing, which is it says easy, normal, hard, and sane, but the AI itself is always the same. The difference in here is what wave you actually start on. So if you start on easy, you start on the easier waves, but by the time you get to wave 6, you're already in uh, normal mode. And by the time you get to wave 6 after normal mode, you're in hard. But um, that's pretty much the way that they've, um, they've done the stages. So if you want to start at a really hard stage already, you can go insane. But if you go in the easy mode, you will eventually get to the insane waves. I mean, if you survive that long, that is. But anyways, let's see how we fare in, uh, in this particular arena with, uh, with the shield that I said was empowered. Oh, okay, that was bad. That was pretty bad of us. We totally just wasted an attack there. Chunk. And get sliced. Oh, we are doing a ton of damage, so there's that. And there's a bonus shop while you're in the challenge pit, so you can actually spend some of your score to buy items, like you can fill up your mana, you can fill up your health, you can buy more time, because there's limited time, as you can see there, time left 115. You can fix your shield, you can max out your ammo, which means the rockets, the grenades, all that stuff. Okay, let's see how we do against this dude. Oh, we were able to block that! Damn! Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Holy hell. And here I was just thinking that I really liked the way that I was playing, but Jesus Christ, heavy sword and heavy shield. That seems to be the way to actually get on these challenges. Just nuke the crap out of everything. Oh, damn it, I had the wrong target. You also have to alternate targets. No, dude, not cool. And slam, he goes down, and now he's gonna die because he's too close to death anyways. Good night. And let's do something a little bit different here. Oh, that really didn't do the same animation I was expecting with the lighter weapon. Nope, doesn't matter. I got the overpowered shield. And now, slam. <laughs> well, I am still playing on the easy difficulty. Let's see how far we can get on the challenge mode here. Oops, my bad. Chunk. Wow, that's a chunk of health right there. You see, the thing about this shield I feel that makes it really overpowered is the fact that you can have as much mana as you want. Chunk. That guy's dead. Because while you're charging mana, you're, you become a fortress. Look at that. Well, they did almost, ju they did just ding my shield this one time. How dare you ding my shield, you bastard. Here, take this. Chunk. Now die. I'm wasting too much time just, um, you know, just charging up or whatnot. I need to be a little bit faster here. Oh, damn. Waste of skill. There you go. You gobble. How dare you. Nope. I'm actually going to start using this in a different way. Slam. What else have you got for me? Oh, here's a boss wave. This is another one of the bosses in the game. 
bosses will show up in the challenge pit mode. Oh, nice interrupt there. But you still get the cake. Whoa, no. I need to charge up at least one mana so that my shield will actually start blocking. There we go. We have 20,000 points. I'll have to start thinking about investing in time pretty soon. Holy crap, I was able to block that. Shonk. Denied. I actually think it's time to pull out some of the consumables, so here, have a grenade. Oh, I can actually chain that together with one of the heavy attacks on this sword. Okay, that sounds cool. Let's try that. Boom, and boom. <laughs> oh my god. That was pretty powerful. We got 30 seconds left. We gotta keep an eye on the time. And he's gonna do it. Yeah, yeah, I know that attack. And now here he comes. Here's another grenade. And slam. Oh, wow. Yeah, that attack is pretty powerful. As you can see, now we are in normal mode because we went through the first six waves. There we go. A grenade to start things off. He's gonna charge me and he's gonna fail. Oh, no. Time to use my health back here. And let's charge up the shield. My whole strategy here is, is about this one shield that gives me mana. And... Oh, I missed again. The thing about this particular attack is the range. Well, I guess I'll just uh, use rockets on these guys down here. I have a rocket. Oh, that dog is ready to die. Oh, counterattack. Very nice. But you will still die, my friend. Thank you very much. It is time for me to buy a, um, a time pack. Because as you guys can see, I'm 40 seconds left here. Chunk. And you only get 10 seconds for killing these guys, which is not as good as I would like. So we're going to go into the bonus shop here, buy some time. And now we have three enemies. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh, no, 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 he's still alive. Need to kill him. There we go. Go into fatality mode. Dodge this, charge up the shield. And this shield is powerful. I like it. Oh, damn. Damn, 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 damn. I am blocking you. Chunk, good night. And good night again. <laughs> wow, you're still alive? That is surprising. And now I'm gonna go into the bonus shop, fill up my health. But as you can see, the downside to this is that I'm spending pretty much all my points just to stay in the game. Let's charge up our mana. Oh wow, I can block a lot of stuff with this. Oh, not magic attacks, though. Here you go. Chunk. Chunk. Wow, the strong attack in this sword is really, really good. Let's dodge that. Finish him off. Thank you very much. Oh, this is this is actually the most effective I've ever been in, in Challenge Pit. And... Life. And I'm getting hit because someone was calling me on my cell phone. God damn it. Stop it, you stupid goblin. You see, look at this. This is one of the things, like, even the, the crappiest monster in the game can, like, beat your face if you, if you start, like, you get distracted for a simple second. Like, I was distracted by my phone ringing. Look at how much health that cost me. Oh wow, the guy is being really, really mean about this. You need to chillax before I go over there and beat your face. Thank you. Not to mention also time wasted. That was another thing. But we're still in this, guys. We're still in this. Oh crap, two of the big ones. These I actually don't mind as much because they're pretty easy to dodge. And this sword is devastating enough to deal quite a bit of big amount of damage just dishes out. Now I can see why a sword that I thought wasn't that good is probably one of the best weapons in the game. Hey, here's another thing that you might need to tweak. Ludomir. You, I, I don't know exactly how to say his name. His name shows up in the credits. It's Ludomir. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that. It's from Bulgaria. So. Oh, 
Dodge that, and boom. There's another thing you might have to tweak the Yudomir when you combine this sword and this particular shield. There are problems. Anyways, let's actually use some of the skills here because we got a lot of dogs in here. Oh, I'm actually out of light moves. Okay, let's just use nades then. And for the middle one, I think that takes care of the two. Yep, double kill. Oh, and we're bad. We're bad here. Let's fill up. Oh, we can't just keep using this? Okay. I wasn't aware of that. I thought I'd be able to use this whenever I wanted, but I guess not. Okay, here's another grenade then. That was a poor choice of, of skill to use though, but okay. And we now have the monkey boss again. Hello. And let's dodge that. Slam his face. Let's just keep on powering the mana. And Oh, I missed. Let's charge it up, charge it up. Oh man, this shield is really good. I can't wait to try this shield with uh, my god's hammer sword. Missed me. Oh, damn. There's a grenade. Oh, and he beat my face. 45,450, that's actually my best score so far. And you guys might be thinking, oh, that, that looks like it's pretty good. Let me just show you the online leaderboard, and you guys will see that it's actually not that good. Uh, let's see, video, no, online rankings. I'm going to challenge pit. I'm actually only second place. Which again, it's because there's not a lot of people that want to have this kind of challenging gameplay, which is really a disappointment. Because I want more games like this, which is why I felt the need to kind of support the, this particular title. I want more challenging games. I want games that actually challenge you. And, and It's not like the same as Dark Souls, but it's in the same ballpark. They're kind of going for the same kind of challenge at the end of the day. They want a game that's challenging. Oh, error, unknown. What? Number one? No, that's wrong. I just saw um, a guy in there the other day that had like a hundred thousand, so I can't be number one in challenge pit. Maybe there's something going on with the servers or whatever, I, I honestly don't know. Well, but anyways, um, it should still give you a pretty good idea what the game's all about. It's all about... Um, dueling um, monsters in arenas and whatnot and I think it's a really good title there's a lot of potential here I really hope they tweak some of the stuff that I talked with them in today's call like for instance God's Hammer and maybe even this particular attack that I came across the deck which which is even more powerful than the God's Hammer strategy that I've been using um, I don't know there, there's just a, a little bit of tweaking that still needs to be done to really make the game uh, hard in my opinion but once they get that down I think the game is going to be amazing and I can't wait um, to see when they actually update it they also have some um, some some plans for DLC but I don't think I'm actually allowed to talk about that so I'm not really going to mention anything um, but it should be pretty fun if what they told me is true but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys enjoyed the game thank you very much for watching and I will see you guys on the next